scan otherwise known as elevator algorithm. In this algorithm, the head moves from one end of the disc to the other end, say for example from the end cylinder to the beginning cylinder and on the way it services all the pending I.O. requests for the cylinders it come across. And after reaching the other end, the head changes its direction and proceeds to the other end and the servicing continues. And if any new request arrives, for the cylinders it come across before the head, such cylinders will also be serviced on the way. This way the head continuously scans back and forth across the disc. Now consider our example in which there are 200 cylinders named cylinder 0 to cylinder 199 and these are the queue of requests which are pending and these are the cylinders corresponding to these requests in their order on the disc and the read write head is currently on cylinder number 53 accessing some data on cylinder number 53 and the head is actually moving inwards toward the spindle hence the direction of the read write head is currently towards the cylinder 0 thus the head is actually moving from the end cylinder to the beginning cylinder and currently is on cylinder number 53 now on the way to cylinder number 0 it will process the cylinder 37, 14 and move till the end up to cylinder 0 even though there are no requests in between and after reaching the end the head changes its direction and proceeds to the other end servicing the remaining requests which are 65, 67 98, 122, 124 and 183. This is the last request in this queue. Now the head keep on servicing. Head will keep on moving till the end up to here. Again change its direction and move towards the cylinder 0 and so on. So for our request, for our queue of requests from cylinder 53 to 183, total how many cylinders the head have to come across? head moves from 53 to 0 first in this direction hence here it come across 53 cylinders and from 0 to 183 it come across 183 cylinders hence total 53 plus 183 236 cylinders have to be crossed in order to service all these requests now what are the advantages of this method of disk scheduling algorithm? Compared to first come first serve, we can see there is much improvement in the performance. And unlike SSTF, the implementation is not complex since we just need to scan back and forth across the disk servicing the request. And the main thing compared to SSTF here, there is no chance for starvation too. The head keeps on scanning from one end to the other end, hence every request will be served. Now coming to the limitations of this algorithm, the head moves till the end even though there are no requests on the way. Here we can see after cylinder number 14, there are no requests which are currently pending between cylinder 14 and cylinder 0. Even then the head keep on moving till the end. Now to understand the next problem of this algorithm, assume a uniform distribution of requests across the disk. We know that as the head proceeds from one direction to the other end, all the pending requests in the queue will be serviced as well as even if some new requests arrive for the cylinders it come across before the head, such requests will also be serviced. This means by the time the head reaches the other end, almost all requests in this region will be serviced. 
so upon reaching this other end and when head changes its direction there is chance for a few number of requests in this region and the high density of requests will be in the other end because this end has been processed recently and these high density of requests which are waiting on the other side have to wait for a long time till the head reaches this and changes its direction process this fewer number of requests and come all the way before reaching them so in the coming videos let's see how to overcome the limitations of this scan algorithm and modify it as new algorithm